Moss is one of those things that should be easy, but is actually a little trickier than it has any right to be. So today I'm going to try a little experiment to see if with a little work, we can get more realistic moss. In this video, we're going to cover three things. How to work with multiple UV maps, how to use a painted texture as a mask, and how to use that texture to grow hair particles. So first things first, we're going to take the monkey head here and apply a subsurf modifier to it. Then I'll make a new material and import whatever random texture you want. I've got this one of some rock. We'll cube project it and run it through a bump node and adjust it till it looks right. And we'll just name this rock. Now in the same setup, Make a second material with a principled shader and some noise hooked into a color ramp. Make the ramp different shades of green and adjust the noise, detail, scale, and roughness and run that through its own bump node. This will be our moss material. Adjust the roughness and specularity so it's not too reflective. Connect the rock and moss with a mix shader. You'll see that at a value of one, it's entirely moss and at zero, it's entirely rock. Okay, next in the UV image panel, make a new blank texture at 2048 and title it something like Moss Paint or Moss Matte, whatever you want. Add a new image node and select the blank one that we just made. Now, as you can see, it's just black at the moment and that's exactly what we want. Because if we're in texture paint mode, this is how we'll paint our moss onto the model. Although you'll notice now, if we try to draw on it, it loses its freaking mind. So there's a problem here, but good news, it's an easy fix. We're gonna make a second UV map and title it Moss. Make sure you set it as the active render. This is very important. Now, UV unwrap, smart UV project, and this will give us a clean canvas to paint on while still preserving the rock material's original UV coordinates. So now if we try to paint, it lands right where you'd expect it to. Nice. So what we're gonna do is use the image texture to drive our factor value as a mask. Whatever's black will reveal the rock texture and whatever's white will be moss. Add a UV map node and select our moss UV layer. That way we're sure that we're painting on the correct layer, otherwise it'll all fall apart. Now make a second new material, name it Moss Hair, and copy and paste the color ramp and noise nodes into it. This will influence the particle color and add some diversity to it. Add a particle system, name it Moss, and crank the particle number to 2500, length to 0.2, and change the render material to Moss Hair. If you're not already in cycles, jump into cycles. Under children, set it to interpolated, and set your render and display amounts as you like. You also want to adjust the length, parting, clumping, roughness, and kink. It took me some time before I found something I was happy with. These are the numbers that work for me, but yours might be different depending on the scale you're seeing. I then proceeded to change roughness and radial roughness in the principled hair shader to 0.6 and 0.75 respectively. Now with all that out of the way, go to Textures, New Image, and choose Moss Paint from the menu. Then under Influence, enable Density. Make sure you name this texture something you can find, like Moss Guide and go back to the particle system. Under textures, choose the moss guide. This is gonna use our paint layer to drive where the particles will sprout. Once that's all done, we're to the final step. With the blank texture paint node selected, tab in the edit mode and go to the UV image editor and make sure the moss paint layer is selected. Now, if we enter the texture paint tab, you'll see that we're painting just as before, but the big difference is wherever we draw, it's applying our moss material. And look at that, it's actually sprouting hair fibers as we paint. I don't think this would be best for every application, but for close-ups when you need a lot of detail or control, the advantage here is that you can be more precise than with weight painting. Plus you're getting your moss and your particle texture with the same stroke. And the other cool thing is since we're working with a black and white mask, and black is a value of zero and white being a value of one, if you make a mistake, you can just change your paint color back to black and erase it and it'll update in real time. So hopefully you found some of that useful. Thanks for watching.